Yo, what is up guys, Beach Banana here, and today we're playing Critical Ops, so something different from Bullet Force, yes, <laughs> totally get sniped there. So, I, a after talking to Royal Skyline, um, I figured out what the problem was with my Critical Ops, what happened was that my account on Critical Ops doesn't like work anymore, so I, I can only stay operative. So I, I didn't really play Critical Ops too much, so um, this was like my first like 30 minutes of playing um, like before, no no, this was my first 30 minutes of playing um, like in a long time, so if I suck and if I aim down people bad, actually you can't really aim down people, you just like aim I guess, but anyways, um, yeah. Um, my aim isn't too good, my aim assist is at 0%, so you guys can probably see that my aim is just trash. <laughs> but later on I get better, um, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to critical ops again, because the games are way different than, or the game is way different than Bullet Force. And so yeah, I definitely have to adjust to many things, such as the recoil. But dude, the AK, I love the AK so much. Because when I shoot, it automatically recoils up, and I get headshots, and headshots are like one shot, one shot, right? I believe so, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, the AK on here is pretty fun. Uh, mainly, I w I've been playing this game for fun. I don't really, um, I'm not going pro or whatever, so if you guys in the comments, just, just go easy on me, please. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long, and yeah. But it's, def it's really fun to get a change of pace now and then. Playing Bullet Force all day every day isn't like the best, oh god, aim. Um, but yeah, changing to Natural Born Soldier or um, Critical Ops, super fun. Um, and yeah, I've been playing Overwatch too, so I haven't been too bored, but, or I'm not saying Bullet Force is bored, I'm just like, you know, change of pace is pretty good. <laughs> oh god, the aim. Um, I think, like, three minutes into the game I get better at aiming but um, anyways yeah that's what I've been wanting to talk about oh yeah the intro the intro is awesome Do you guys like it dude I love the intro this new intro was way better than the other um, definitely um, lots of good work I love the song too I have to check out what the song is um, my the what's his name M M Marks no Marks Gaming. Um, I'll I'll leave the info in the description below. But shout out to them for making that cool intro. Um, I have to ask him what the song is, or you guys could just sh sh Shazam it. <laughs> Shazam, okay. But anyways, yeah. Um, on to the updates. So I so with Natural Born Soldier, if you guys didn't know, it has been getting some like slight updates but not nothing too much so when the when a big update comes out i'm definitely going to be playing that on this channel um for bullet force there has been some updates not too much um it's mainly uh lucas the developer is working on the android version of things so hopefully what i um what i recommend to him is to try and get it cross-platform so that iOS, Android, and PC players can play together because that would be awesome to maximize the amount of people online and yeah that'd be really fun. <laughs> Look at the koi, the koi looks so cool but um, I don't really care about the skins too much I just care about if it's fun or not. Um, there's this like weird glitch or something where sometimes when you spawn and you go forward, you go back a little bit, then you go forward, I don't know. I think that's for all of the people. Maybe it's just a ping issue, I'm not sure. But yeah, this game is pretty hard. Like, if you have aim assist at 0%, which like you probably should, because that's how you learn the fastest um, with aiming. Um, like, you should have... Oh, oh look at that. That, that, was, that was pretty good. Um, but yeah, aim assist at 0%, so, um, yeah, uh, what did I want to talk about? Anyways, on to the Bullet Force updates, yeah, Android, working on Android, 
hopefully the game comes out soon. Um, I really want it to come out soon so everyone can play it because everyone's so hyped for it. And it, it's an awesome game, guys. It's so good. This game's also good and Natural Born Soldier as well. But Villa Force is the main, main um, contender. <laughs> I don't even know, but yeah, I love Villa Force so much. Um, also on the PC, the PC is so much fun. The PC isn't updated though, like for for my standalone PC build, it's not updated. I talked to Lucas, and he says um, he's not gonna, or he he hasn't had the updated version given to me soon or yet. God. English. Anyways, um, yeah, that's basically it. Dude, look at these headshots. I love the recoil on this. Like, most people think recoil sucks, but no, it's it's really good on the AK, definitely. Like, look, what? Look at the headshots. Headshots are so nice. And then another one. And then another... Oh, wait. Did I kill that guy? Yeah, I did. It's kind of hard to see if I killed someone because... I have to like read the whole operative tag, like all the numbers, so, and most of them are pretty similar, so it's kind of hard to distinguish who got the kill or not, but, um, yeah, I, I haven't made, or I haven't played on the new map, so I do want to play on the new map, which is, looks pretty cool, I think it's like the airport one or something. I'm not really too sure. I haven't seen videos on it. I haven't played it too much. I just like, I just remembered. Oh, I I also made a Canadian uh, account so I could get this game um, because it's not on the U.S. yet. Which is like, come on, <laughs> it should be on the U.S. already. Come on. But anyways, um, yeah. Anyways guys, I think I'm going to make um, some videos on Bullet Force, um, on the difference between Battlefield 4 and Bullet Force, so uh, stay tuned for that. I hope it's going to be a good video, I'm not exactly sure, because I haven't played a Battlefield too much, I'm only like level 5, but I've been playing it some a little bit, and I've been seeing like the differences between Bullet Force and Battlefields, and I kind of just want to make it for fun, you know, like... Battlefield versus or Battlefield on the iPhone. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be a fun video. Hope you guys stay tuned for that. And look, the Koi. I believe that's what it's called. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of hard getting used to critical ops if you've been playing um, not Battlefield but Bullet Force so much. But uh, now that like I'm back in action, I guess. Um, I'll be making more videos on critical ops and stuff, because it's, it's a fun game. It's definitely a fun game. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more epic videos. And yeah, have a great day, guys. Peace. Set my heart Suffocating, I'm waiting, and all we 
is hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire 